Lift up your hands and praise Him and say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We with you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We roll with you, Lord. We roll with you, Lord. We I want you to begin to tell the Lord how much he means to you. I want you to begin to thank the Lord for the things that he's going to do for you. Lift up your voice. Begin to thank him. Begin to praise him. Raise your hands and open your mouth. Oh, God, you break every chain. Yes, Lord. Break every chain. Break every chain in the name of Jesus. Lord, yes, break those chains, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Today, the Lord says, When you're in the storm, I am with you. No matter when the waves come crashing, I am with you. The Lord says when you're in the storm, you don't look to the left or right, but you keep your eyes on me. Thank you, Jesus. And you know what? No matter the storms that we, we battle, no matter the storms that we are going through, just remember that God is with you. That God is with you. That God has never left you. God, we thank you. Lord, and today I even say thank you for the storms. Because, Lord, when, we make, when, you, get us, when you have the storms, Lord... You make us strong. Father, so today I thank you for the the storms that you bring my way. And some of you today are in the storm. I just feel like I needed to share this. I wasn't I wasn't gonna share this, and the Lord just spoke to me all night and said, You need to share this. This is for somebody. But last Saturday, I, well, I've been having a lot of arm pain for months where I really can't lift or do anything. And the pain is very bad. And last Saturday, I was trying to paint, paint my porch and I was trying to paint the little spindles. And I had so much pain, I just threw down the brush and I just sat in the grass and I, and I told the Lord, I said, God, I have so much pain. And as I was sitting there, I was just weeping and weeping and said, I guess I'm not going to be able to use these arms and hands no more. I've, I've come to the point where I've accepted this. And all of a sudden, I just felt like the Lord said, Don't sit here and pity yourself. And all of a sudden, something, the warrior spirit, not something, but it was the warrior spirit that arose in me. And I said, Lord, no matter what, God, no matter if I, if you choose that I have pain for the rest of my life, I will praise you in the storm. I will praise you in the storm. And I said, Lord, no matter what comes my way, I will praise you in the storm. I will praise you in the storm. And it reminded me of of Bo and Silas when they were in jail and they were in prison. And instead of whining and complaining, they started praising the Lord. They started praising the Lord. And after that, I sat down. I I said, God, I'm going to sit here until I hear a word from you. Well, an hour and a half went, and I didn't hear nothing. I was like, well, I guess that's his final word. So, continued through the day with pain and pain. And at night, I decided that I was going to sleep on the recliner because that's the only place I can 
sleep to get relief. And about one o'clock in the morning, the Lord spoke to me and he said, woman, your faith has made you whole. And I thought maybe I was dreaming because that was on my, my mind. And, and when I woke up, I was lying on my left side. And I can't lay on my left side. So the Lord has healed me. I've had no more arm pain. But, but this is what I want to say. There's a lot of you that are in the storm. But no matter the storm that we're in, we need to continue to praise him. And our timing is not God's timing. You know, so I just want to say that our timing is not God's timing. But I believe some of you are in the storm and you feel tired. And you said, Pastor Bev, the waves have been battling me back and forth, back and forth. And I'm just tired, but don't be tired because what I've decided was <laughs> just makes you a stronger warrior. So I'm going to ask if, if anybody needs prayer. Some of you may be going through storms of, you may want healing. There might be something in your life. You may not have a job. You may have financial issues, but we want to pray with you through this storm. And when we remember, when we are weak, that God is your strength. So I'm going to ask if people would like to come to the altars. We're going to let the altars open so we can pray for you. So you can come now. name of Jesus peace in the name of Jesus Lord that woman that's alone in her room crying all alone God today I ask that you would bring her peace in the name of Jesus Lord we ask that you would be bring peace to marriage just God peace and restoration Lord I ask God that you would let them be still and hear from you God Lord let them hear your voice God we speak that peace into them in the name of Jesus God Lord we speak peace to the people in prison. God, I ask today that you would put peace in their jail cells, Lord, and let them know that you are God. Lord, we we just ask that you would crush every spirit of fear and, and anxiety today, Lord. God, Lord, I just pray that you would crush with your hands the spirit of fear and anxiety, God. Lord, we just love you. And, and God, you are a, a loving father. <laughs> Lord, there's some sitting here and they're, oh my, their hearts are just all in disarray. And we speak peace in the name of Jesus. Lord, we decree and we declare victory and peace in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, I ask right now with the battlefield of the mind, oh God, Lord, that you would crush that right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, the hundred million thoughts that are running through their minds right now, God, Lord, that you would cease them in the name of Jesus. We speak peace, peace, <laughs> peace, God. Lord, we pray peace over this sanctuary, God, today, Lord. As people come in, God, that 
they would feel the spirit of peace, Lord. Lord, you're about to do something great. Lord, we're right on the edge and the enemy's mad. But Lord, I ask as each one single fouls through this door that as they would hit their foot on the floor where the door opens, God, that the spirit of peace and content would flow over them, Jesus. Jesus. And Lord, I pray even today, God, if there's someone in this service or the second service that doesn't know you, God, Lord, I ask today, God, that they would come running to you, O oh Lord. That they would come running to you, O oh Lord. Lord, and I pray even over our pastor today, God. Lord, I pray over him that, Lord, you would give him peace. And, Lord, you would let him speak with boldness, God. Lord, he's your vessel and he's your servant. And God, you are his daddy. Lord, you are his daddy. Today, wrap your arms around him. Wrap your arms around him and, and, and Debbie, God. Lord, but we speak the spirit of peace. That all things will be accordingly. All things. Oh, my. Don't look to the left or the right. But see my hand. See, my hand, says the Lord. Peace be still. Peace, peace. God, I thank you for our pastor and this mighty warrior and his wife, oh God. Lord, be with them, God. Strengthen them, Lord. And in times that when they are weak and... God, I ask that, God, you would give them a spirit of boldness and peace. You keep saying peace. Lord, we just pray peace over their life. Peace, peace, peace. No worries. God has it. The Lord has it. So, Father God, I thank you for them, Lord. And, Lord, lift them up. God, I see, I see Pastor Joe and Debbie in your hand. Oh, my. You have your hand. It's such a huge hand. And they are standing in it. And God, you have your hand wrapped around them. He has you. He says, I have you. Oh, my. Ah, la, da, 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 my. And he's lifting his hand up. He's lifting you up in his hands. Oh, my. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my. You're exalted. You're exalted. You're exalted. Thank you, Jesus. He has not left his hand for me, but it's you're standing in that hand. Wow, that's powerful. And he's holding you up. He's holding you up. And I want to tell you that nothing can touch you. You are a man and woman of God. Nothing can touch you. Do you hear that? You two are anointed. You are anointed warriors. And nothing, nothing can touch you. Wow, God, because you said you have them in your hand. You have them. So whenever the storms come crashing, you remember that he's holding you. He's not even saying, look to the left or the right, but he says, I'm holding you and I'm lifting you up. God, I thank you for that, Jesus. Every worry, every fear be gone in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you put a fire. Oh my, God, that you would put a fire. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Fire and Pastor Joe God. You're saying fire. <laughs> Boldness and fire. Wow. Wow. Lord, I, I just feel like you're saying you're gonna take them to the next level, God. 
Lord, that, that, that's what the lifting up is. And to the next level and, and, and fire, God, fire. Lord, you know what that means and they know what that means, Lord, but I thank you for that, Jesus. Lord, I even ask that you would put a hedge of protection around them, God. Lord, that you would protect them from the fiery darts. Lord, that they would just boomerang, God. Boomerang, boomerang, Lord, in the name of Jesus. They would boomerang. Father, Lord, we just thank you. And we thank you for peace over your people and your family, God. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you're a God of peace. I believe we've been having good prayer times. And I believe that God has spoken or even has done something in your life. Because sometimes we don't hear what happens in the service or whatever. Like if God has touched you, if you have a testimony, I feel like we need to give the testimonies and give praise to God because that's who we owe our testimonies to. And if that's you, or even if God has given you a scripture or has said something to you, I would you like you to come up and share right now. I feel God so strong in here this morning. Um, the song when it says, quit being quiet speak out that hit me in my gut because I've been silent and still and he says I want to move you but you're not moving out um, I gave Eldon a book to read on anxiety and he said something this morning he don't even realize he said and the Lord when we were singing that song it was like, it's your mindset. Get your mindset right. Um, I wasn't going to say that. I want to thank God, first of all. I just want to praise him for what he done. Two weeks ago, I came to the altar. And I was up there just crying out, giving him. I was in a lot of pain with my back. And... Uh, I just said, Lord, just please heal me. Well, he took me down. And when he was taking me down, I felt like I was on a trampoline. I felt like the trampoline was just bouncing me back and forth. And my body was one part, and my head was tossed way over. And I was laying there, he said to me, he said, be still. He said, I'm lying in every vertebrae in your back. Everything is lining up. This morning, I feel like God wants to line my mind up with His Spirit. And I just thank God that we can come to a service like this and not be afraid to speak out, uh, to let the anointing flow. People don't realize what they're missing by not coming here and letting. God just do his work. I asked this morning that I would be more open and more obedient. I know God, but sometimes I really struggle with things in life. And I want to give it all to him this morning. I thank you all. But I want to praise him for what he's doing in me. Peace of God. Peace of God. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Align this mind with her mouth. Let her claim and proclaim and profess the word of the Lord. 
put her mind, spirit, and body in perfect alignment today. Even now, God, even now. Ah, even now, even now, God, even now. Let it happen. blanket on this mind, Lord God. Where the enemy has gates, we pray that you'd shut those gates. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's doing something really deep right now. <laughs> Head to toe. Alignment, 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 alignment. Alignment. We receive that in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. It is yours in the name of Jesus. I just want to thank the Lord, number one, for waking me up again today, starting me on a new day. Yeah. And I thank him for this service and the confirmation. Um, Thursday when Bev and I had prison and we went out and spoke with the girls, all for a couple of months now, the Lord's, or the enemy's been battling in my mind, just telling me all kinds of negative things. So as we went to the jail, Bev says, do you have anything on your heart? And I said, I just feel like I want to share, you know, firsthand experience. I know if I'm going through it, other people must be going through it too, especially the girls there. So we shared with them about how the enemy can attack our mind and tell us things that aren't true. And as we spoke with them, the one little girl said, she said, this is amazing. She said, you ladies are just talking about everything that we've been dealing with all week and what they've been sharing because I feel blessed and I feel honored of God that we can do this and that the church has been our covering to do this because those girls now and there, they have their own Bible study in the block. 10 o'clock every morning, they have their own Bible study where they get together and they praise the Lord and they encourage each other. And just, I said, I've been doing this probably for about 10 or 11 years, going into the jail and speaking. And this is the first time that I can remember, Diane, I don't know if you knew, but um, that where the girls did their own Bible studies in the block, and I just think that that's so beautiful. So the, the battle, the battle in the mind, but the best thing, and we discussed that, is to counteract that battle is with the Word of God, because the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and with that we need to take on the sword the sword of the spirit because we want to be warriors we want to but in order to be a warrior we've got to keep our armor on and that armor is when bad things come when bad thoughts come we need to quote scripture say for i am a child of god the lord promises to never leave us nor forsake us no matter what we go through he's with us and when I hear those thoughts in my mind, I say, Deb, you are a liar. Because that word promises me that God's always with us. That he's going to leave us. That he's going to bring us through. He is Jehovah um, Rapha. He's our provider. He's our healer. What Bonnie and Bev experienced. He's our healer. He's our provider. Whatever it is that we need, we can find it in God. Jesus Christ is, our, is my Savior. I'm so thankful that the Lord saved me for yes. what he brought me out of. I'm just so thankful to God. Yes. I'm thankful that the Lord gave me to this church. And I often say it, but it's in my heart. I've been to other, I'm thankful that in this church it's led by the Spirit. I thank for Pastor Joe and Debbie um, and for their obedience to the Holy Spirit. I thank the Lord for um, Pastor Bev and her obedience to the Holy Spirit because that moving of the Holy Spirit, that makes all the difference. It makes all the difference. This prayer service, it, this, that's what brought me to this church. I was praying for a church, um, and I shared this I know with Bev. 
but I very rarely get on Facebook, but for some reason I get on Facebook and I read a post from Carrie, and, and it said, I'm so thankful that I, ha I attend a church where they pray before services, and I thought, that's awesome. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. So I'm just so thankful for the Lord today, what he's doing, for what he's doing in my own personal life, for the needs that are being met. I'm thanking the Lord for the healings. I'm thanking for the way he's working with the girls in the jail ministry. It's such a blessing for just to see them and see them grow every week and to see more and more come. It's, I'm just so thankful for what God is, is doing in these last days. So there you and one of the things I'd like to say is um, the women in prison, we were sitting at a table and um, they pointed to the, the one lady who is like going to be in there like forever if God doesn't do something. But it was really cool. They said, God is answering our prayers. They said, we come to her. She's been leading us in Bible studies. And she's a prayer warrior. And, and the girl looked and she says, but you've been teaching us to be prayer warriors. And the girl said, she's been praying for us and God has been delivering and God has been doing things that is impossible. So I just, I just want to thank God for that. I just want to thank God that, for what he's doing. Pastor Bev said about some scripture, if you have a scripture to come up and share it, and um, as Bonnie had given me that book about Be Anxious for Nothing by Max Licato, uh one of the passages that he referenced was Psalms 103, and I hadn't really taken the time to stop and go look it up in the moment when I was reading the book, but I was drawn to that this morning, and I think it's very fitting for what we're talking about here, the first, the first five verses, and then I want to have a passage in Isaiah, but Psalms 103, verses 1 through 5. Uh, this is New Living Translations. Um, Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases, which includes anxiety. Bonnie, that's for you. That's for me. That's for all of us. He heals all there's not one he doesn't heal. We claim it. We speak it. He redeems us from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. Pastor Joe and Debbie, as I read that and as Pastor Bev was speaking to you about raising you up to a new level, as you, as you rise above the storms of life, that's what the eagle does. He takes and puts, positions himself to rise above the storms of life that come. And as a leader that has positions that you have in, in leading people, position yourself to rise above the storms and do not let anything that come against you pull you down. No weapon formed against you will prosper. Like, like Pastor Bev said, you're called out to be a leader. And we thank you for your leadership. And for that, I want to step forward into Isaiah 41, verse 10. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, and I will help hold you up with my victorious right hand. Pastor Joe and Debbie, you are upheld with the righteous right hand of God in leadership position. We thank you for your leadership here at this church. We thank you for being my pastor as well and the friendship that we have. But you know, in reading that book about anxiety, I wanted to touch on this a little bit too, is um, it's real. Depression is real. I know for myself in my own life, I had struggled with uh, depression and anxiety for about three and a half to four years with the circumstances of, of my own life. And I never thought, I'd look back the other day, I thought, you know what, I never thought 20 years ago that I'd be dealing or have had to deal with things like that in my life. But God had a purpose in it. That's the storm of life that we go through at times for a greater purpose. For us to be able to help someone else. Sometimes the experiences that we gain through the things that we go through, the storms that we go through, positions us to help someone else along the way. 
and God has given us the opportunities, do we take them? I just pray that we see the opportunities that he gives us and lays before us, that we seize them. As we see them, we seize them. We take them and take the opportunity to be a blessing to someone that's in need of an encouraging word, to be lifted up, to be, to be encouraged. And with anxiety, Max Licata pointed out, sometimes when we feel anxious, the best way to dispel that is to is speak words of praise. Reflect on Psalms 103. Speak words of praise. Look at the gratefulness. Look at the goodness of God, of what God is doing in your life. Quit dwelling on the promise, or on the, quit focusing on the problem and dwell on what's happened in the good. That's how you can overcome anxiousness. Stop looking at the problem. So shifting the mindset, shifting the mindset. If we keep focusing on the problem, guess what? The more you focus on is more what you get. So stop focusing on the problem. And I have to tell myself that. We have to focus on what, what the good is. Focus on the goodness of God. Focus on what God, the, the favor of God has poured out into your life. Thank you. Praise God. This is going to be quick. <laughs> um, Pastor, I know Sister Debbie sometimes is like, oh no, he didn't go there. <laughs> Pastor was talking about um, where, what the struggles and everything they went through. He was talking about the babies and how they didn't have and stuff like that. And our testimony we need to hear them. So Pastor was talking about that, you know. I remember back here about a month ago. I haven't been working and I'm being transparent, so it's not about whoa. But I'm just being transparent. And I had one roll of toilet paper. And I said, God, I'm your daughter. I said, I have a dollar and I have one roll of toilet tissue. And I said, I am not going to the store with a dollar to get a roll of toilet paper. So I'm saying, <clears throat> someone was talking about they just sat and wait for the God, wait for God. And I sat there, I said, God, I'm gonna wait on you. I am not going to the store. So as I was sitting there, my sister, she called me. She said, Diane, she didn't even know what was going on. She said, Diane, come meet me at the store. I have $50 for you. That's the God we serve. Mm -hmm. Because I remember what pastor said. So by him saying that, it didn't make me feel less than, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you feel like, wow, what's wrong with me? But just hearing Pastor, how he talked about that, that's what gave me strength. Then a few days, a few weeks later, I had, um, I put the last of my toothpaste in the garbage. I said again, I'm not going to the store like this. I got another call. Someone wired me money. But God was showing me I am your provider. You know, sometimes we think God is going to just drop it from the sky, but he used people. And ever since then, I can say God has been blessing me. Mm -hmm. He's been blessing me. I mean, he's just been blessing me. So I praise God. So when we're going through, testify, talk about it, because you don't know who you're helping. And when Pastor did that, that's what gave me my strength to walk it out. Amen.